I got you a rubber ducky and everything. Are you ready, bro? We're gonna be giving you a bath, Godzilla. A nice big old bath. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, ducky. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We're all friends and family here, right? Well, Slayers, we're here at the Pet Smart, where all the things are smart, where you can have stuff for your pets and it's smart. Yeah, no, anyways, um, today we're gonna go ahead and finally upgrade Godzilla's tank. Guys, you guys have been asking what's going on with Godzilla, if he's alive, if he's big, if he's small, if he's gonna kill them all, who knows? But today, it's gonna be a nice little video. We're gonna go ahead and show you what you should do for your snapping turtles when they're shedding their scutes. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is upgrade his tank. I'm gonna get this very cool setup that I saw that I wish I got for the Indian spots, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's all right. So now I'll be able to have both the Zoom Ed and the Zilla aquatic turtle sets. So let's go ahead and hit the pet smart. Turtle is exactly where we're supposed to be, right there. And boom, look at it guys. We have a Repta Habitat to the left, a Repta Habitat to the right, 20 to 40 gallons. Sir, can you stop driving that car? It's getting loud. So Slayers, check it out, check it out. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna compare the two. We have a 20 gallon and a 40 gallon. So it was brought my attention by my good friend, Paul Cafaro, that he actually did a video on this, on a 20 gallon or a 40 gallon. I don't really remember which one it was, but I noticed that it is a really good deal, especially right now they're on sale. 167.99 for the 20, 200 doll hairs for the 40. So, guys, that looks like to get really big, so obviously I really want to go ahead and check on the 40. So, I'm going to see on what they have here. Come check it out. Includes 40 gallon. Includes a filter. A UVB and heating lighting kit. Reptisafe booklet. Whole bunch of great stuff. I like it. Not bad idea. You know, he's getting really big, so might as well. Let's see what the little one has. 20 gallon. Oh, the 20 gallon has a lot of stuff. Mini combo. Dome hood. Reptituff lighting substrate oh it has substrate too look river rock 10 pounds of river rock which is perfect that looks like a good deal this is actually not a bad deal it's small but when godzilla gets probably about this big it's gonna be obviously time for him to get a new home so we'll probably have him in a pond or something in the future or a patio bowl i'm not too sure but this has got to be the move we're gonna go ahead and get this real quick head to my place set it up and then we're gonna see how godzilla's doing hello hey but wait wait where are you going why are you hiding why are you hiding? It's been so long, Max, I know. But guys, here we are at the monster fish tank, well, mini monster fish tank, and everyone's doing good. You got Cosmo, Kylie, Chris, Gary, Juan, and McJagger's doing good. But we also have the man, the myth, the legend, our alien fish, Ninja. Look at that grumpy face. Hey, hey, I know you're hungry. We're going to feed you soon. Stay tuned for that video if you guys want to see me feed my fish. Look at him. Oh, what you gonna do, boy? Oh, oh, don't attack the slayers. Don't attack the slayers. So, guys, like I was saying, we're gonna check out our guy right here. Godzilla. Oh, there he is. Godzilla. Here you come, my friend. Come, child, come. So, as you can see, guys, his scutes are being shed heavy. He has some extra skin and stuff. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is help him take that off. That is really gross, really nasty. It's really hard to upkeep in regards to the water and everything. So we just wanna make sure that he's A-OK -okay and he looks great. He's getting so big compared to before. He was a wee little baby and now he's an absolute monster to terrorize the world and all the crawfish and yeah. So I have a couple means of getting all this stuff off and I'll show you how to do that. But wait, 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 getting some air too. Look at him. So anyways, I'm having fun. I just haven't seen him in a while. But he's gonna be coming home with us. So what I did was honestly not feed him for a few days so I didn't stress him out. And we're gonna help him get nice and clean. We're gonna be giving you a bath, Godzilla. A nice big old bath. I got you a rubber ducky and everything. Are you ready, bro? And on top of that, you got a tank upgrade. Are you excited? Look at the excitement in his face. I'm gonna go ahead and get him into this container nice and quickly without getting bit. As you can see, he's just not happy. A lot of people don't like to take baths. Hey, easy! Relax there, kid. Jeez. Guys, look how big he's gotten. He's massive. He's absolutely massive. So we're gonna go ahead and give him a bath and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, Slayer, so let's go ahead and take a look at Godzilla, how he's doing. He's nice and chunky. We gotta go ahead and feed him more, get him all fat and everything. He looks good. 
So now what we have to do is actually take off all these scutes. It's kind of hard to see now because he's drying off, but look. I'll put one off, wait. Ooh. The scutes. So we have to give him a bath. And what I did was I got him his rubber ducky. We're gonna just grip, no, I'm just joking. We might actually use this, it's not a bad idea, but the safest way is a soft toothbrush. Lily's toothbrush to be exact. <laughs> And we have to just scratch every little crevice off. So what we're gonna do is actually come to the sink over here. We gotta put some soap on them. No, just joking. So just put some water on them. It's nice and cold. You just do this. Simple as that. Gotta give them a bath. And as you can see, the scutes are coming off right behind. So you just gotta do it gentle. Gentle so you don't hurt them. But yeah, this is it guys. We're giving our turtle right now a big old bath. Put some water on them. Oh, he's getting mad. Look at that mouth. Oh my god. Look at that mouth. Mm. He's all angry. Look at him. Ah. Look at him. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. I think he just peed, is why we got a little extra scent. Gotta be nice. careful. Hopefully, he doesn't bite me. He's still, even though he's little, he still packs a punch. As you can see, guys, look right here on the sink. That's his skew. That's everything. That's just dead skin. That's on him, so it's always good to make sure that your turtle's nice and clean. It's hard to get the extra skin that's under him, but we can just work on the on the shell. All right, we're cleaning him off, guys. So that's what you gotta do. As you can see, look at look at the scutes. You see, that's why you always gotta make sure you can just pull him off carefully. And this doesn't hurt him at all, at all. He actually rips him off himself, but he just gets very agitated and very mad because you're obviously messing with him. And he feels a little threatened, so we're gonna continue to give him a nice little bath, like so. Ooh, almost got me. Now, in regards to the skin that's peeling off, like on his limbs and stuff, he'll get that off himself. Happens all the time, especially when you have a nice growing snapping turtle, like so. Dude, look how vicious he's getting. Take a moment, look at that mouth. Oh, see if he bites this thing. He's so vicious and so angry. Nah, I'm not gonna make him do that, but. Yeah. See the skin on the bottom of him? Yeah. Just gotta be careful with that. You gotta be very soft. So Slayers, I'm gonna go ahead and give Godzilla a break. But uh, I've been curious, now that he or she is getting bigger, I, I wanna find out if Godzilla's a male or a female. So for all you reptile subscribers out there, give me, shoot me a DM, let me know if you think Godzilla's a male or a female. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give Godzilla a break. But as you can see, it's getting tougher here. And that's what you want. Now in the wild, obviously you don't have like a giant person going with a toothbrush and scratching them. And they usually do this naturally and I could let it happen naturally, but I know it's not really the most appealing thing to see that the turtle is shedding. It's kind of kind of gross because it gets stuck in the filter and everything, but it's looking better now. Look at that. Hello. Hello. So, but uh, yeah, naturally that's what goes down. They go ahead and just pick it off with their mouth and it just falls off naturally. But you just gotta stay on top of it because as you can see, it's a mess. And if all of this is inside your water, it starts to really have an odor and the ammonia spikes up and they could possibly get an infection and stuff. So you don't want that to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and finish giving him a bath and I'll meet you guys back at the sleigh pad. All right, Slayer. So here we have the premium reptile tank, the reptile habitat for aquatic turtles. So this is the perfect tank for Godzilla, which is doing great down here. Look at this guy. Oh, Godzilla! So look at this tank. It has a nice lid that slides in, good to go. Because when he gets big, he's going to want to escape. Got some uh, river rocks. Prime. Now we got mini combo. Don't fix yours. Man, they really packed everything in here pretty tight. <laughs> Jeez Louise. But this is an awesome kit. I love it. Nice little turtle dock just for him. Mini combo, deep dome light, the lights you need, water conditioner, everything, everything you possibly need, even a book to tell you how to take care of your turtles. Nice little thermometer as well to show you how hot or cold it is. I also ordered certain heaters, and they'll be coming soon for the Indian Spotted, as well as Godzilla. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is set this puppy up, gonna add him in. All right, Slayer, so as you can see, here we have Godzilla's brand new enclosure after he got his bath. So I decided to go ahead and reward him because he was such a good boy or girl. Who knows? Again, comment below for those reptile enthusiasts. Let me know what you think. Is Godzilla a boy or a girl? So 
This water is insanely moving. It's fast, even though they love very stagnant water. This is gonna be good to make sure that there's no crap on the bottom. I am really digging the river rocks to the point that I'm gonna go ahead and add more river rocks here. So I went ahead and separated the plants, got some new water lettuce from my pond, moving from here, added them in here for extra filtration because they eat a lot. I'm gonna be feeding Godzilla like crazy. And Godzilla is gonna get big and strong. Look at this guy. Hello. He is insane. Godzilla is a beast. So hopefully Godzilla likes the new home. So I'm gonna put Godzilla right here into the light. Yay. I'm gonna slide this here carefully. I really like this lock system they have here. So that just in case Godzilla tries to run away, it's not happening. Just slide this thing right on top. Nice and safe. Lock it down, lock it in. Here you go. One, two. Add a little muscle to it. Oh, 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 there! Into the flow. <laughs> Into the flow. If you have any questions with regards to having a snapping turtle, direct message me on Instagram. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah.